This is the second part of the analysis of the CUET MA English question paper done by Preeti Mathur of English Literature Academy. First part talked about questions from 1 to 25. 26th question checks your knowledge about Indian writers and their writings. The novel mentioned in the question is written by the Northeastern Indian writer Mamang Dai about the British invasion of the pristine hills of the tribal Northeast. It is set in mid 19th century. The 27th question is an RTC question related to the poetic devices from one of the T.S. Eliot's famous poems that most students have done at their graduation level. Question 20, 28 is a question where poems and plays have to be matched with their genres. This one is a fairly easy question as all of these texts are well known and students have done these at their graduation level. Question number 29 is again a matchmaking question where in list A we find the mention of awards and the list B contains description of these awards. Question number 30 is related to the dialect or linguistics. It is about the theory of idiolect. Some Indian plays have been mentioned in the 31st question and their play rights need to be identified. Anyone who has even read about the Indian play rights superficially will be able to answer this question. 32nd is again a matchmaking question related to the texts waiting to be matched with their genres. I feel it's easy because all the texts mentioned here are very renowned texts uh, read by students at the graduation level. 33rd one wants some gothic novels to be arranged in ascending chronological order on the basis of their year of publication. This question can prove to be tricky as three novels out of four are 18th century novels except one that is a 19th century one. So students can get confused if not well prepared. Next question is also on exactly the same lines where detective fiction has to be arranged chronologically as per their year of publication. 35th question is based on linguistics and the concept of transliteration. Question 36 is again related to the theory of translation, but because it is quite logic based question, even a layman can answer it with little effort. 37th question is about a well known play of Mahesh Datani, a contemporary Indian playwright. Students know very well about it it been prescribed at the graduation level. To answer the 38th question, knowledge about the professional history and their contribution of Indian literary writers is required. 39th is about a literary uh, is about literary pieces written by an African American author Octavia Butler. The 40th one is rather easy as it is about 1971 Booker's Prize recipient V.S. Naipaul. Students should know which author received literary awards like these in which year and for which piece of writing. 41st is from literary criticism, uh, criticism yana. Students have to chronologically arrange the literary movements like structuralism, post-colonialism, etc in the order of their occurrence. Question 42 contains a quote by a renowned feministic writer and the options include the elaboration of this quote. Students should be able to comprehend these and choose one or more options that closely describe the quotation. There is a mention of four novels in question 43 and the students are asked about one common characteristic that prevails in all of them. Shakespeare's comedies need to be arranged in chronological order in the next. There is 
an extract in question number 45 and the literary device used in it requires to be identified. Question 46 contains two lists that need to be matched. One has the names of African authors, the other has novel names written by them. To answer the 47th question, one must know about the members of the Frankfurt School of Marxist Aesthetics and identify the one who was not a part of the group. The 48th question can be termed easy as the associated answer is a novel that is there as a part of syllabus uh, at the graduation level. It asks about the existence of magic realism in one of Gabriel Garcia Marquez's novels. 49th is about Anthony Burgess Malayan Triology. And the 50th question mentions four texts, all very well studied by the students during their graduation in English Honours course. Students have to tell which one of these is an allegory and I consider it quite an easy one that can be answered by most.